It's a beautiful sunny day out here in California and I'm gonna spend some time at the beach with my friends. I got my toes in the sand and oh, that doesn't look so good. I can't be seen with my toes looking like that. I'm gonna have to fix this problem over at the nail salon. And when I get there, I've got some great tips for consumers to have a safe sandal season. So from the moment you walk into the salon, open your eyes. Here's what you need to know as a consumer. The first thing to do is to look for the establishment license. It must be valid and posted in plain sight along with a message for the consumer in the reception area. Next, look for the manicurist license and make sure it's valid as well. Under the California Department of Consumer Affairs, the Board of Barbering and Cosmetology issues these licenses. Now, I'm going to take a look at the overall establishment to make sure it's neat and clean. All salons are required to follow the California Department of Public Health and Cal OSHA industry guidelines and the rules and regulations of the California State Board of Barbering and Cosmetology. Everyone inside the salon must wear a mask. Only clients receiving services should be in the salon. Stations must be six feet apart and plastic separators and manicurists wearing gloves are recommended. Now, let's inspect the tools the manicurists will use while performing services. All metal tools must be disinfected before use on any client. This means they cannot be used on one consumer and then on another without being properly disinfected. Improper disinfection or no disinfection is a sure way to transfer bacteria from person to person. Manicurists are required to wash their hands often. It's okay to ask them to wash their hands before your pedicure. Finally, it's time to get a pedicure. Before you soak those aching feet in that inviting foot spa, there are some important areas of concern you need to know about. Be aware that there's been outbreaks of infection caused by improper cleaning of Whirlpool foot spa chairs. Licensees must follow strict requirements when cleaning them. If a manicurist uses a liner around the foot spa, it must be properly changed and the tub cleaned between each client. The water must be drained and the liner must be removed and thrown out. The basin and all removable parts must be cleaned with a brush and liquid soap, then rinsed with clean water and dried with a new clean paper towel. If a liner was not used, the basin must be drained and all removable components must be scrubbed with a brush and liquid soap. The basin and components must be rinsed. The basin needs to be refilled with clean water and a disinfectant solution and circulated for 10 minutes, drained, rinsed with clean water, then wiped dry with a clean new paper towel. This process must be done between each client and they must note the cleanings on a log sheet. The date and time of each cleaning must be written down. Foot spa chairs are also required to be cleaned and logged at the end of every day and every week. So, when you're in the salon, take a look around. If you see a client leave a foot spa, make sure it gets disinfected properly. If a manicurist fills it with water without any cleaning, that's a red flag. It's time to say goodbye and refuse services. All the foot spa chairs in the salons must have cleaning logs that are available for you to inspect, and it's okay to ask to see it. Before a manicurist clips your toenails or uses any metal instruments, look to see if the tools have come out of a container labeled clean, and make sure it gets put in a container labeled soil after use. It's okay to ask if the tools have been properly disinfected. One very important thing to remember, don't ever let a manicurist use a razor or sharp instrument to remove a callus. If they do, it could cause serious harm. 
Licensees can smooth a callus, but they can't remove them. It's very important to know that buffers and files can only be used on you and no one else. They must be thrown out immediately after use. Just looking at this file, you can tell it's been used. Don't let a manicurist file your toenails with a used one. Request a new file. It's your right to ask. This is a California state law that all licensees must follow. Now let's go over some quick tips for before and during your visit to the salon. Don't shave your legs before your appointment. Shaving makes you more susceptible to nicks and cuts, which are gateways for bacteria. If you have broken skin on your lower legs, don't go to the salon and get a pedicure. Don't forget, it's okay to ask if your tools are disinfected for a new file or buffer, to look at the cleaning logs, and to ask your manicurist to wash their hands. Also, be sure to refuse nail products that contain methyl methacrylate. This can be identified by a strong odor. Now those are some good looking toes. I am all geared up for a safe sandal season. Hey! Bare your toes, cover your mouth and nose. For more consumer safety tips for a safe sandal season, you can visit the California Board of Barbering and Cosmetology website at barbercosmo.ca.gov or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram.